Hello, I'm Victoria Boy and I'm Chairman of the Health and Public Services Committee on the London Assembly. We've been looking into the effects of fuel poverty. Fuel poverty affects almost one-fifth of London households. And despite all the work by the Mayor, the Government and others, this is a problem in London that is still rising. So we've been trying to highlight the issue and look what could be done to help those families and households that are suffering. On the London Assembly, we've been looking at actually what the definition of fuel poverty is. And it means that when, when you've paid all your other outgoings, that you're having to spend more than 10% of your income on fuel. The effect of fuel poverty is poor health, possibly damp homes, increased respiratory and other illnesses that are all exacerbated by the fact that people are living in very cold homes. It's a very real problem here in London because it's quite difficult to address. The companies have an obligation to look at and improving the insulation of the houses but in London we've missed out on some of these grants because properties in London tend to be of the solid wall construction and that means it's quite difficult to fit the insulation. They are often divided into flats, so getting the agreement of all the households to work together to, uh, to improve the insulation is, an, is another one of the problems. So one of the things that we've looked at is looking at areas as a whole having assessors coming to areas as a whole and studying streets because then you can actually see because most of those streets will probably have houses of the same construction in them. So at the London Assembly we have a data mapping tool which enables us to actually look at where the areas in most poverty are, in severe fuel poverty. And if we can tackle those areas first by using the open source data so that all the companies involved with the various statistics people who know about the people who are on incomes, people who know about the construction of the homes, we can actually work together to reduce fuel poverty in London.